Hey guys, Omni here. Welcome back for episode five of Ahsoka. Before we get into things, I do kind of want to give you guys an upfront. You know, if you guys weren't aware, um, I've tried to be pretty vocal about it because over the last weekend, uh, for the last three, four days, I've been in Minnesota at the Mall of America pretty much the entirety of that time, whether it be at an airport or just in that mall for uh, File Fest, the X Files convention I had been talking about and hyping up for, for a while. Well, being in the world's uh, country's largest mall definitely did not help with uh, maintaining my track record for dodging this infamous illness for the last four years. So my streak has officially come to a close and my head is on fire right now. <laughs> but I want to watch this episode. I didn't want to put that off. I'm already putting off a couple other things just because my flights got canceled, my flights got delayed. Um, I ended up having to drive the rest of the way home because of the delayed flights that they kind of tried to put me on. So it was a whole mess trying to come home from this thing. But I had a damn good time. Like, I, I, I do not regret not, uh, you know, going or anything like that. But if, if I'm a little slow or seem a little out of it, I just want to let you guys know. And this is a pretty pivotal episode, so I'm going to try to be as on point as possible. I've kind of juiced up on the medications to kind of try to alleviate some of this, this throbbing ass pain in my, uh, my head, my eyes, and everything else. So we'll get through this together, I hope. So guys, let's go ahead and hop in. If you want to see the full length reaction, check it out over on Patreon or if you become a mineral channel, get you access as well. It's in watch along format, so you just need to sync up your own footage with the time code so we're reacting the entire episode. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies we react to each month. We got monthly Q&As, behind the scenes footage, and trying to make it worth your while since you're going to be support the channel, but guys, really appreciate it. If you enjoy the reaction, to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already because it really does help us out in the long run with these videos. That all said and down the way, let's go ahead and hop into episode five. Here we go. I do want to backpedal on something though. You know how I said like, I think Shin was upset uh, about Morak going down and that I thought that maybe it was because it was somebody that she, like they knew from the past, maybe that had been resurrected. I kind of want to backpedal on that because like, I, you know, she kept bringing up witchcraft and she seems to have a distaste for it. So maybe it was just shock from the fact that somebody they were working with was kind of brought to life through mysticism. Because after like settling on and rewatching the episode and stuff, that's kind of, you know, and talking with some other people as well. It's kind of maybe where I more actually feel like I line up with it now. No. I'm glad, I'm glad he's along for the ride because I thought like we might just kind of see him one episode and that would be it. Don't wander off too far. We don't know this planet, so keep Chopper with you. Because we all know Chopper will m just murder anybody that tries to mess with him. Oh. 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 I told them to stay together. But they never listen. I've always liked Hu Yang, but this show's just made him so much more, I don't know. We've just maybe it's cuz we getting we're getting a lot of intimate time with him too, but I love what they've done here with his involvement. Shadow Warrior. Can't wait to figure out what that means. All right, here we go. You look the same. You look old. <laughs> well, that happens. Actually, what happened? You lost the fight. I don't remember. Trust me. You lost. Mm. Balin's skull. So you do remember. That's good. Why? It means you still have a chance. A chance? To live. Oh. Tell me what's going on. I'm here to finish your training. <laughs> It's a little late for that. Yeah, that's Anakin's saber. We can finally see it up close. 
It's not the Vader one like a lot of people were saying. What's the lesson, Master? Live. Or die. Ugh. I won't fight you. Are you gonna have to? I've heard that before. Yo, let's go. <sighs> Maybe he is going to be able to sense something. We're overdue at HQ. Senator Organa says she can only give us cover for so long. Mm. Mom, not now, Jason. No, listen to him. There's something about the water. Yo, uh, this is, this is awesome. Don't you hear it? The waves crashing? No. The lightsabers. Yo. <laughs> but what do we do? We just gonna dive off? Jason, good work. Chopper, stay with him. No. What? what just happened? Jason has abilities. His father, Kanan Jarrus, was a Jedi. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck, that hurt. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. He was just like, all right. <laughs> He's just like, fuck it. I'll roll with it. Whoa, dude, Hayden Christensen has not lost his shit, dude. Looks like you don't have much left to offer. Oh, don't talk big yet. Oh. Back in the, we're in the past. Oh. Wow. This is the Clone Wars. Yeah, no kidding. Why are we here? You tell me. I don't understand. That's your problem. Oh. This isn't what I trained for. Look, when Obi Wan taught me, we were keepers of the peace. But now, to win this war, I have to teach you to be a soldier. Is that all I'll have to teach my own Padawan one day? Aww. How to fight? You no, know, teaching's not all it's cracked up to be. Really? What makes you say that? I'm joking. You're joking. Yeah, I'm joking. How can you joke at a time like this? You want me to be more serious? I prefer it. Listen, I'm teaching you how to lead, how to survive. And to do that, you're going to have to fight. What if I want to stop fighting? Then you'll die. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> oh, we jumped ahead. Oh, wow, yo! Everything I am, 
all the knowledge I possess, just as I inherited knowledge from my master and he from his. We're part of a legacy. But my part of that legacy is one of death and war. But you're more than that. Because I'm more than that. You are more, Anakin. But more powerful and dangerous than anyone realized. Mm -hmm. Is that what this is about? If I am everything you are... You've learned nothing. Don't say that. Back to the beginning. <laughs> I gave you a choice. Live. Oh! Or die. Uh-oh. No. Incorrect. Mm. His eyes, dude. Oh, oh, <laughs> dude, I love that shit. That's true. That's something I've been saying for some time, actually. Time to die. eyes are going to change back, aren't they? Yep. There's hope for you yet. He's going to be gone. Yep. Anakin. Hell yeah, dude. He needed her to stop sitting on the sidelines, riding the fences, and make a choice. She's draped in white. Hmm. She's had her fighting. turning point. You did. Yeah, lightsabers. Who are you fighting with? Hey, I have an idea. Hmm. Hey, Yang, why don't you show Jason inside your starship? I've been in a starship before. A Jedi starship? Come along. I'll show you the training room. Oh. Will you train me? No. <laughs> You know how to build a lightsaber? Yes. Will you teach me? No. <laughs> yes, you will. General, we have a problem. What else? It's a fleet. They're on their way. Well, they're a little late. I don't think they're coming to help. Um. Great. I'll deal with this. Coming to wrangle up the mutineers. Follow the whales. The Senate Oversight Committee is going to determine if your command should be permanently suspended. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm not, I'm not surprised with the way things have been going. I don't know how you score this, but we're losing right now. I know how to follow Sabine. Oh, the smirk. I'm not sure I like this plan. Yes, I would like to second that. <laughs> Yo. Found the Above the big and I think that is one of the larger ones. That'll do. Wow. 
She got a whole outfit change too. She she had her Gandalf moment, man. Dude, that thing is massive. How much time do you need? I don't know. Just don't let them approach. We could have fight their fleet if it comes down to it, though. This is Captain Tava out of Adelphi Base. Please identify yourself. <laughs> Captain, now where is General Sindula? I'm afraid that's classified information. <laughs> In fact, you're going to have to halt your approach to the planet until I receive confirmation that the General has indeed completed her mission. Captain, the reason we are here is because there was no mission. I respectfully disagree. <laughs> <laughs> We're all on the same side here. Tell us what Ahsoka Tano and General Sindula are up to, and perhaps we can help. The best way you can help is to maintain your distance until I can confirm that General Sindula has completed her mission. Arm the tractor beam. I wouldn't recommend doing that right now. Explain the nature of this mission, or I will see to it that you are stripped of your rank for resisting a direct order from Fleet Command. Okay, but you're not gonna believe me. <laughs> Fair. It's gonna swallow the ship and monstro them away. Hey! Get in there. Here we go. You'll certainly know where Sabine was taken. I have no idea. What? <laughs> we'll just see where it goes. It could go anywhere. I know. That's better than going nowhere. Mm. There it is. Captain Gerard, this is General Sindula. I'd move your fleet out of there if I were you. <laughs> God. Here they go. Sorry you can't make the trip. That's no, all right. Jason's too young to travel between galaxies. <laughs> May the force be with you. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, this episode was freaking awesome. Like, I loved this from beginning to end. I know, like, at some points, I'm, maybe I didn't react as a... As a uh, bombastically as 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 I maybe would have had I not been feeling as shitty as I do right now. But my lord, I loved this episode. I've been wanting to see this interaction between Anakin and Ahsoka for so long. She's deserved that. She's needed that. And whether that is or is not Anakin himself, you know, uh, coming through the cosmic force here in the world between worlds to finish her training. I want to believe it is. It could very well be a echo in the tree moment, like with Luke and him fighting himself as Vader, that whole thing. It could just be the force being the force, but I, w I want to believe this was Anakin because we've never seen somebody within, you know, the cosmic force within the world between worlds that has become one with it, let alone the the chosen one out there you know maybe that's where they ha come up looking like a hologram looking all ghosty maybe in here this is where th this is just how they appear here when we're on their plane that's just, just kind of like some things we haven't really discussed a little bit but that's what i want to believe because i i just need i want that for ahsoka here either way it completes this this gap in her and not even just her training but just in herself that she's been kind of putting off because she's been keeping the Jedi Order, her training, her legacy, where she comes from, everything like that from her past at a distance. And it's been hampering her progression as a person. And it's been affecting her dynamics, her relationships, and her aims in the present day. She's never come to terms with where she comes from, the decisions that she's made, the faults that she's found within her past within her beliefs, you know, and she's just never taken a stand. And like you said, you, you're not, you're lacking conviction and she, he, he need, she needs to choose. Like you can't just sit on the fence this entire time 
for better or for worse, whatever Anakin did at the end of the day, you know, he picked a side. He took action. He was never passive in his life. And that's kind of all Ahsoka has been doing because she's just kind of has been keeping everything at arm's length because she's just carried this doubt in herself for so long because of everything that has happened, because of what happened with Anakin. She's like, how much of that is now in me? You know, how much of that is worth passing on? What is it? I don't know. She just always is so conflicted about what path she should be on or even taking. You know, she's, she carries this kind of fear. She's never fought it. She's never really confronted it. And this is what Anakin was like, hey, if you're going to live, you have a chance here. You ha you're you're on the precipice. You can live, you can die in this moment. You're in the land between for now. But you have to choose. Are you going to give up or are you going to fight? If you do not fight, you will die. And that's what he kind of tries to instill into her. And then like she had this idea that everything she learned from the Jedi and everything that she learned from Anakin was just about survival, being a soldier. And yes, that's what she needed to survive, but he also taught her so many other things. But that's that's kind of, she just kind of blocked that out because that's just how she viewed her life at the time. So she's she's kind of put up this mental block on herself that has kept her from ever kind of tapping into some of those deeper lessons. She's not just Anakin. She is everybody that led up to him as well, because all of those teachings have stacked and stacked and stacked and stacked. And just like he said, when I became a Jedi, we were peacekeepers, but times change and we have to adapt. You have to adapt. You can't just be stuck in who you were at the time. And she just, she struggled to do that. And I love that we got to go through time to back to the Clone Wars and see Hayden Christensen in the Clone Wars armor and attire, live action clones yet again. I love that we keep getting them. You know, Tamara Morrison voicing again, Captain Rex and all the other ones, though we never saw a face. You know, like the wounded ones had their faces wrapped up and all that. Still, it was cool to just kind of touch on that. And then... You know, going into taking it back to the like the earlier days, casting a younger Ahsoka. While I still wish there was some way to involve Ashley Eckstein in this, but I get it. I know we can't. It's just logistically I would have liked that. But uh, taking it back to like when we met her, I, I really liked that. And then going through these little motions, you know, these little talks with Anakin and the way he's handling things. Like, hey, why are, what are you doing here? This or, or what about our training? This is your training. And then just, ah, oh. I don't like that. He's just like, so you're projecting all this onto me. A lot of her pain is what turned out and happened to him. The guilt that she carries as well as the fear she carries about what that means for her and her connection to him. And he's like, do you really think that's all that I was? You know, I was more than that. Even though, yes, that happened, there was a, I was a much more complex person than these particular decisions and those were my decisions my decisions to carry not yours it, it, she's got to just kind of live her own life and separate herself from all that and i like that when he was like so is that what this is all about how how fucking dare you and then he went all dark mode man eyes changed he pulled out the vader lightsaber whipping out to red and just kind of put the heat on her because she needed to choose. She needed to push past this. And he's using all of his tools. And I like that, too, because if, you know, as the chosen one, as the balance itself, you know, he does draw from both sides of the force. And we get to see him manifest both of those because once she kind of comes over and understands the lesson, he literally turns it off. And he's like, there you go. You did it. And he's gone. He did what he needed to do. I loved the whole element of it. And again, the visualization of the world between worlds. I love what they did here. And then everything outside of that. I love the, you know, the B plot of it all with Hera and Jason and everybody trying to figure out what happened. And I love that Jason became like a very pivotal part of that, using his growing force powers to help tune in to where she might be hearing the saber battles uh, through the waves themselves. I, I loved it. I love that whole element of it. And then, of course, Hera being the rebel she is and, you know, kind of being reined in by her superiors, potentially losing her rank, going to be, 
you know, court martialed and all that and put on trial, I guess, to see if she even deserves to be a general anymore. And not to mention the little Leia Organa drop. No, they didn't say Leia. They said Senator Organa, but she, just the acknowledgement that Leia's out there and helping Hera and the crew was a nice, nice little nugget to drop in there. And I like that Carson did everything he could to back her the entire way. He's such a great character, and I love seeing him pop up every time he does. And that little delivery when they just, like, he had no fucking clue what just happened or how they learned what they learned, and he was just like, uh, uh, what? And then Hu Yang gives him that info dump, and he's just like, all right, whatever, fuck it, just continue, move on. <laughs> I just loved that moment, man, so much. It was so hilarious. And then him going out and, like, you know, uh, holding up the fleet with the whole, like, authorization. It was like, ah, can I see your badge? You know, I need to make sure that you're here, here. We're on a covert uh, classified mission. They're like, no, you're not. He's like, well, you, well, you got me. And then, like, he came clean. The whole thing, the whole, all the banter was just great. And then after everything coming around to them finding Ahsoka, who completed this trial, has now ascended. She's had her Gandalf moment. She is now Ahsoka the White. And again, it just goes into question, like, just like the weird retcon of the, the Rebels uh, epilogue scenes where she was already kind of like that. But I don't know. It is. It's it's fine. It will we'll roll with it because I like the way they're 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 playing this whole thing out. And then. We saw a lot of that because she completed this trial and she's got this understanding now with herself and her past, this this reconciliation that has come out of this. We see a little bit of that brighter, cheerful, fun Ahsoka coming out. She's smiling more. She's given that classic Ahsoka smirk. And she's just got a more upbeat attitude as she's come out of this. I like seeing that because there's always been something holding her back. Always something that's been off every time we've seen her since she's been reappearing throughout Rebels. And now, especially after the revelation about Anakin and Vader. You know, every time she's come up, there's always been a conflict internally going on, both with her and her history with the Jedi and with her own master. And it's also kind of leached into her failure to teach Sabine in a in a proper way at all, to kind of give and be a good mentor. She she can't do that when she's at conflict with herself. So we've crossed that 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 bridge now. And I can't wait to see where we go from here. And her, you know, using your know, psychometry to read the area, find out what happened, and then all right, let's Let's talk to these wells. Let's pull an Ezra. And again, I thought we were going to use the world between worlds to get there and that Ahsoka would be able to make the journey at least. Not everybody else, but maybe Ahsoka. That's kind of what I thought was going to have. She's going to have her trial and then she was going to use that because it transcends space and time. So she could theoretically enter the world between worlds at one point in the galaxy and exit it, let's say, in Peridia. I thought that might be how they could bypass the whole situation. The other thing I thought was probably going to be the Purgle. And there we are. She's communing with the Purgle, and the Purgle have invited her into their mouths, and they are going to carry her to their destination. And she doesn't even know or has any guarantee that that's where they're going to go. She's just kind of trusting in the Force now. She's not th overthinking anything. She is just rolling with the punches, and that is great. That's what she's been failing to do for so long, and I like that whole payoff. Though, you know, Hera not being able to come along for the journey, I'm well, just kind of like, she could have just come in too, you know, it was like, I can't, sorry, I can't go with you or whatever. You can't come with us or whatever. I was like, yeah, you can. There's plenty of room in there. Let her park in the mouth too. But uh, I'm very curious to see where this all goes. This episode is really fun. Uh, I love the way they kind of visualized and brought to life the Clone Wars and multiple elements and seeing the Siege of Mandalore. And I just, I loved it. And the combat, the saber fighting was just on point. Hayden Christensen has not lost his touch. And the actor they got to play young Ahsoka, both points, did a really good job at mimicking a lot of those classical uh, Ahsoka movements and kind of just kind of keeping up with the pace until we transitioned back to Rosario, who was also just holding her own. The whole thing was just really, really freaking good. And I loved this whole thing. But guys, what did you all think? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. And remember, if you want to see the full length reaction, check it out over on Patreon or if you come to channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, 
want to shout out our channel legends, Manny Share, Ryan Karen, Yori Korska, Margaret Grace, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey Hale, M. Several, Jake Contrell, and Eric Official. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Well, that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. But until then, may the force be with you always. Take care, everybody.